Now, yeah, Monday 18th of May. Uh, I've come across a couple of chubs that have yellow leaves, so I've had a, I've had a dig about because these weren't so well first week of March, I think it was. And to my surprise, I've got those. So I'm going to uh, empty that pot, see what else comes out. Okay, bring you back shortly. Okay, so uh, I've just took another one out, so we'll have a look see what's what's in. Plenty of roots. Another one. Not a bad size, really. Nice one. I am surprised there's some really nice potatoes in. Seed potato. Right, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when I'm done. Well, that was a little bit of a surprise. Uh, enough there for a meal for three of us for today. Nice one. Okay, catch you later. Well, I'm not going to complain about those. Give them another couple of weeks and they'd have been just spot on. So, yeah, that is a meal for tonight for three of us. Okay, catch you later. Morning. Friday the 22nd of May. Just got to let you have a quick look about things as progressing. This is the flower box at the side of the front car park with marigolds and uh, little Leo. Knife and fork. Unbelievable. But it seems to be okay. Okay, we'll go down into the microwave area now. Here we are in the uh, growing area and it doesn't half feel strange not having the boxes going across this way. But I think it looks better and we've got extra clothes lines up which Keeps the tenants happy. There is the comfrey in the uh, my growing area, and that is coming on nicely. I shall uh, have to get advice from Mike to uh, how, how far I need to let it grow before I can take leaves up for some comfrey tea. And there we have the onward peas. Now the front batch. All these here were sown direct. The ones behind were sown into pots and kept in the plastic greenhouse. And they've suddenly come into flower. Yeah. Okay. Potatoes. As you can see, they're getting blown a little bit. I sort of thought to myself with growing potatoes over there where I put the boxes they were deprived of sunshine so therefore growing leggy how wrong could I be? these are growing leggy in fact I would think I wouldn't swear to put some might have been in here a cat or something daft or a big bird, which was all right last night. But it is breezy, as you can see with the uh, 
trees over the back blowing away elephant garlic I took all the scapes off or at least I think I have I took off what was uh, showing anyway so they'll not be long I don't think before they'll be falling over onions these are uh, yes Elsa Craig Elsa Craig onions now we've got a couple more that are going to seed on here so they'll be for tonight's salad for me because I got some some red onions she's she likes red onions on salads now I had quite a few of the uh, Paris pickling onions in a four inch pot and I thought well rather than throw them away because I've got I've got plenty in uh, in tubs I'll bunch them and uh, put them in here and see how they go that's where I took the other onions out that went to seed I think with these two these two that will be coming out today that's eight in total so I don't think I shall be doing that again I think we'll, uh, we'll try a different a different idea garlic is coming on nicely they're starting to get scapes on I've already took a couple off and no I don't uh, I don't eat them they're going in rubbish bin and then with potatoes and these are the international kidney and I think they are getting to a stage now where they need to come out these were the first I saw it in 22nd of February so they've been in, uh, they've been in quite a while no it wasn't, it was, it was the 12th of February these yeah 12th of February and then we've got a couple more of the little Leo sunflowers and more marigolds and they're just starting to uh, get heads on so we'll uh, have some flowers no doubt carrots carrots and more carrots I have got some more down there and there's another three pots inside the greenhouse and then we come on to strawberries loads of strawberries Susan is going to be very happy when they start ripening up yeah these are shallots as are those up there they are all the same and on the top there is the uh, charlotte potatoes I might try a couple of those next week and uh, see whether they're, they're growing on or not and all these are charlottes there's two, two tubs that I sold beginning of May I think they're these two they'll be staying in a bit longer and these were the last two that I did um, I think there's just one potato in there and they'll be staying in until the do collapse here we have the uh, Hilton French green beans coming on nicely and we have a tub there with flowers so yeah we should be into some beans before much longer got some more marigolds in pots down there and these are the uh, Roma tomatoes and as you can see we've got tomatoes on that one and we've got nice tomatoes on that one and there's only one in there somewhere for now but plenty of flowers on this is uh, Ladiba cucumber I've lost I lost the other one that I had again 
Franklin's breakfast radish, beetroot. These are the spent uh, strawberry plants that uh, Susan's enjoyed the fruit of. Tomatoes again. This is the uh, black Russian, and as you can see, they've got one big one there. I think there is another couple on somewhere. And here we have the sweet million. Nice tomatoes forming on that one, and up there. This one is the Sun Gold. Plenty of tomatoes on that one. And on there. And then we've got the Shirley. Tomatoes cropping up all over on this one. You can see there. So yeah, quite happy. I put um, some offshoots. This was the top of the other Shirley plant that uh, suffered. Well, I, I broke to be honest. I'll take blame for it. And these as uh, suckers have took off the uh, Black Russian. So we'll see what develops with those. More potatoes, more Charlottes there. All these are Pentland Javelin. I think uh, the one I took out on Monday was quite pleasing, and I think there's another one there that uh, is screaming to come out. But uh, I'm not in any desperate hurry, I'd rather have quite a few decent sized ones than only a few. And we've got Pentland Javelin in tubs here, and then we've got Broad Beans. Broad Beans are piling weight on now. You can see over there, lovely job. And as soon as they're finished, that's where uh, Bill and Wells beans are going. Parsnips. These aren't half moving on. Growing nicely. And this is the uh, cobra beans. As you can see, climbing towards heaven. So yeah. The only problem is with these green beans, French green beans. We love them. Absolutely love them. But Trying to save them, store them. We haven't found uh, a good way of doing them at all. We've had some in the freezer from last year's batch and we fini finished up having to throw away three bags. They go very mushy when, the, when they're cooked and they're not nice. So any uh, ideas on how to uh, store them? I know uh, Mike Erdis, he, he puts his into jars. I've never actually tried any in jars because we don't have a, uh, a steam steamer to do the job. But we'll enjoy them while we can. I am growing some uh, some white beans, some cannelli, cannelli, cannellino, cannellino, that's it. Um, that uh, will dry and store, I'm told. Here we have the uh, broccoli, called calabrese, um, and cabbage. I'm not sure whether there's cauliflowers in here or not, I think there is. And I don't know whether you can see or not. We've uh, got uh, little heads on. Florets, I think they call them. So maybe end of next week we might have some calabrese, some fresh to eat. Uh, 
and here we have the uh, composting bin and as you can see now it's uh, a good half uh, full so that's uh, going away nicely and I know there was some heat in there the other day as soon as I lifted this cardboard up you could feel the heat coming straight off the uh, the pile of stuff inside what I tend to do is uh, fill this box up with layers of green and then cardboard for the brown and when it's full I tip it into the uh, into the bin okay I got to this point last time and the battery went dead on me these are the uh, Brussels sprouts one in this box with uh, some shallots and one in that tub with some shallots and two in this tub all on their own some so they're not doing too bad right here we have the uh, stir on onions and uh, shallots they are the uh, feast and the uh, Paris pickling onions a tub full they're the same as what uh, I put in the onion bed over the far side but these are a lot older then we have the uh, Betfords of Champions and those are the same and the ones in the tub at the back there I stir on okay here we have the uh, Canalino French bean now these are white so um, I'm told that to allow them to dry out and you get good storage so they'll, they'll actually go in, dry, in jars as, as dried beans we have flowers on that particular one though the rest are, are starting to show but these these two are relatively new new plants okay marigolds try and stand out of the, the shadow and uh, tub of leeks that I did the other day I'm sorry about the shadow but not a great deal I can do about it but yeah I've got nine I'll be happy with that this is something I uh, knocked together last weekend to relieve the growing pressure in the big tub at the, at the back of it um, I've managed to get three plants in but I still need to lift it up another board um, not quite worked out as well as I expected because the damn things are growing like mad right we'll have a look in the greenhouse these tomato plants in here are going berserk they're growing like mad now I kept all these plants in here to the same San Mazzano so there's no contamination or cross pollination from any other tomato plant these are as I say all San Mazzano and they they're running away with it but I'm trying two different methods in here down this side I'm using Tom Wright as a feed and uh, down this other side I'm using the uh, nutri grow that I got with these uh, pods so we'll see uh, what develops on that one I think it's both equal Stevens at the moment both uh, growing rather well these are the uh, multi sown beetroots that uh, have come on rather good and the lettuce that I got off Steve at Steve's seaside allotments 
and uh, put some fennel in. It's a bit straggly to say that it's been grown in here. But, uh, we still got nothing off the lavender yet. But I have got uh, now three plants of the rosemary. Well, obviously it will not do anything, I don't think, for this year, but there's always another year. And then on here we've got uh, a couple of beans, but like an idiot, I forgot what they are. I do actually think the Roma, uh, not Roma, Cobra. But um, I'll give them another week in there and see if they uh, let me know what they are. Okay. And in this uh, veggie pod, as you can see, everything has just gone absolutely mental. I think some more of this beetroot can uh, come out. I did take some out last weekend and uh, cooked it and I've got it in a, in a jar with vinegar. Yeah, I mean these were sown well after after this batch and they've come on great guns. Here we've got the last of the uh, saladin lettuce. It's starting to art up but we uh, we will be taking that today. My sister wants some, Margaret and brother-in-law John. So that will uh, probably clear that row out and allow me to get uh, get some more put in and then uh, I've already given away one of the webs wonderful that's that's starting up nice so that might stay for a, a while longer take some leaves off maybe and then spring onions and beetroot swamped a little bit it's Susan strawberries but they are in flower So, and all these radishes that came from Steve. Oh yeah, there's plenty to harvest in here this next uh, few weeks, without a doubt. Okie dokie, that will do for this one, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you, bye bye.